Sammo Hung, also known as Hung Combo, is a Hong Kong actor, martial artist, film producer and director, known for his work in martial arts films. Hong Kong action cinema, and is a fight choreographer for other actors such as Jackie Chan. Hung is one of the pivotal figures who spearheaded the Hong Kong New Wave movement of the 1980s, helped reinvent the martial arts genre and started the vampire-like Jiangxi genre. He is widely credited with assisting many of his compatriots, giving them their starts in the Hong Kong film industry, by casting them in the films he produced, or giving them roles in the production crew. Jackie Chan is often addressed as Daigo, meaning Big Brother. Hung was also known as Daigo, until the filming of Project A, which featured both actors. As Hung was the eldest of the Kung Fu brothers, and the first to make a mark on the industry, he was given the nickname Daigo Dai, meaning, Big, Big Brother, or Biggest Big Brother. Born in Hong Kong, both of his parents worked as wardrobe artists in the local film industry and guardianship was thrust upon his grandparents. His grandmother was archetypal martial art actress Chen Chang and his grandfather was film director Hung Chung Ho. Hung joined the China Drama Academy, a Peking opera school in Hong Kong, in 1961. He was enrolled for a period of seven years, beginning at the age of nine, after his grandparents heard about the school from their friends. The opera school was run by Master Yu Jim Yu and as was customary for all students, Hung adopted the given name of his Sifu as his family name whilst attending. Going by the name Yuan Long, Hung became the foremost member of the Seven Little Fortunes performing group, and would establish a friendly rivalry with one of the younger students, Yuan Lo. Yuan Lo would go on to become international superstar Jackie Chan. At the age of 14, Hung was selected by a teacher who had connections to the Hong Kong film industry to perform stunts on a movie. This brief foray into the industry piqued his interest in film and he took particular interest in the operation of film cameras. As the eldest of the troupe, Hung would give his opera school brothers pocket money from his earnings, endearing him greatly to his young friends. Shortly before leaving the academy at the age of 16, Hung suffered an injury that left him bedridden for an extended period, during which time his weight ballooned. After finding work in the film industry as a stuntman, he was given a nickname after a well-known Chinese cartoon character, Sam Mo. Many years later, in 1988, Hong starred in Alex Law's Painted Faces, a dramatic retelling of his experiences at the China Drama Academy. Among the exercises featured in the film are numerous acrobatic backflips, and hours of handstands performed against a wall. Despite some of the more brutal exercises and physical punishments shown in Painted Faces, Hung and the rest of the Seven Little Fortunes consider the film a toned-down version of their actual experiences. Hung appeared as a child actor in several films for Cathay Asia and Bobo Films during the early 1960s. His film debut was in the 1961 film Education of Love. In 1962, he made his first appearance alongside Jackie Chan in the film Big and Little Wong Tin Bar, followed by a role in The Birth of Yue Fei, in which he played the 10-year-old Yue Fei. The historical figure from the Song Dynasty who would go on to become a famous Chinese general and martyr. The majority of Hung's performance was alongside another actor portraying Zhou Tong, Yue's elderly military arts tutor. In 1966, at the age of just 14, Hung began working for Shaw Brothers Studio, assisting the action director Han Yun Jae, on King Hu's film Come Drink With Me. Between 1966 and 1974, Hung worked on over 30 wuxia films for Shaw Brothers, progressing through the roles of extra, stuntman, stunt coordinator and ultimately, action director. In 1970, Hung began working for Raymond Chow in the Golden Harvest Film Company. He was initially hired to choreograph the action scenes for the very first Golden Harvest film, The Angry River. His popularity soon began to grow, and due to the quality of his choreography and disciplined approach to his work, he again caught the eye of celebrated Taiwanese director, King Hu. Hung choreographed Who's the Fate of Lee Khan. In the same year, Hung went to South Korea to study Hapkido under Master Ji Han Jae. Also in 1973, he was seen in the Bruce Lee classic, Enter the Dragon. Hung was the Shaolin student Lee faces in the opening sequence. In 1975, Hung appeared in The Man from Hong Kong, billed as the first Australian martial arts film. Toward the late 1970s, Hong Kong cinema began to shift away from the Mandarin language, epic martial art films popularized by directors such as Chang Che. In a series of films, Hung, along with Jackie Chan, began reinterpreting the genre by making comedic Cantonese kung fu. While these films still strongly featured martial arts, it was mixed with a liberal dose of humor. 
In 1977, Hung was given his first lead role in a Golden Harvest production, in the film Shaolin Plot. His next film, released the same year, was also his directorial debut, The Iron-Fisted Monk, one of the earliest martial art comedies. In 1978, Raymond Chow gave Hung the task of completing the fight coordination for the reshoot of Game of Death, the film Bruce Lee was unable to complete before his death in 1973. In 1979, Hung directed his second film, the comedy Enter the Fat Dragon, for H.K. Fong Ming Motion Picture Company, also playing the lead role Ah Long, a character who idolizes and impersonates Bruce Lee. Hung has impersonated Lee on film twice more, in the final fight scene against Cynthia Rothrock in Millionaire's Express, and throughout the 1990 Lao Kar Wing film Skinny Tiger, Fatty Dragon. After Jackie Chan's success with Drunken Master, Hung was scheduled to make a similar film featuring Drunken Master's beggar so character played by Yuan Siu Tian. As his elder, Samo's films were expected to surpass Chan's in popularity. The film was The Magnificent Butcher, which Hung co directed with Yuan Wu Ping. However, during filming, Yuan Siu Tian died of a heart attack. He was replaced by Fan Mei Sheng, and Yuan's absence may have led to low ticket sales. As Hung's fame grew, he used his newly found influence to assist his former China Drama Academy classmates, as well as the former students of rival school, the Spring and Autumn Drama School. Aside from regular collaborations with Chan, others such as Yuan Biao, Yuan Hua, Lam Ching Ying and Mong Hoi also began to make regular appearances in his films. In 1978 and 1981, Hung made two films that contain fine examples of the Wing Chun style. The first, Warriors 2 was the most significant role to date for South Korean super kicker Casanova Wong, who teamed up with Hung in the final fight. The second film was The Prodigal Son, in which the Wing Chun fighting was performed by Lam Ching Ying. The release of The Prodigal Son, along with another film directed by and co-starring Hung, Knockabout also shot his fellow opera schoolmate Yuan Biao to stardom. Hung's martial arts films of the 1980s helped reconfigure how martial arts were presented on screen. While the martial arts films of the 1970s generally featured highly stylized fighting sequences in period or fantasy settings, Hung's choreography, set in modern urban areas, was more realistic and frenetic, featuring long one-on-one -on -one fight scenes. The fight sequences from several of these films, such as those in Winners and Sinners and Wheels on Meals came to define 1980s martial arts movies. In 1983, the collaboration between the triumvirate of Hung, Jackie Chan, and Yuan Biao began with Chan's project A. Hung, Chan and Yuan were known as the Three Dragons and their alliance lasted for five years. Although Yuan continued to appear in the films of Hung and Chan, the final film to date starring all three was 1988's Dragons Forever. Hung was also responsible for the Lucky Stars comedy film series in the 1980s. He directed and co-starred in the original trilogy, Winners and Sinners, My Lucky Stars and Twinkle, Twinkle Lucky Stars. These first three films featured Chan and Biao in supporting roles. Hung also produced and played a supporting role in the fourth film, Lucky Stars Go Places, and made a cameo appearance in the sixth and final film, How to Meet the Lucky Stars. During the 1980s, Hung was instrumental in the creating the Jiangxi genre, a Jiangxi being hopping reanimated corpses, a Chinese equivalent to Western vampires. Two landmark films, Encounters of the Spooky Kind and the Dead and the Deadly featured Jiangxi who move in standing jumps towards their victims as well as Taoist priests with the ability to quell these vampires through magical spells and charms. Hung's Jiangxi films would pave the way for films such as the popular Mr. Vampire, which he also produced, and its sequels. He revitalized the subgenre of female-led martial art films, producing cop films such as Yes, Madam aka Police Assassins, which introduced stars Michelle Yeoh and Cynthia Rothrock. Film after some relatively poor performances at the domestic box office, Hung had a dispute with studio head, Raymond Chow. Hung had produced the thriller Into the Fire, but Hung felt Golden Harvest had withdrawn the film from cinemas too soon. The disagreement led to Hung parting company with Golden Harvest in 1991, after 21 years with the company. Whilst continuing to produce films through his own company Bojan Films Company Limited, Hung failed to equal his early successes. His fortunes improved somewhat as the helmer of Mr. Nice Guy, a long-awaited reunion with Chan. In 1994, Hung coordinated the fight sequences in Wong Kar Wei's Wuxia epic, Ashes of Time. Television in 1998, U.S. television network CBS began to broadcast martial law on Saturday nights, an action drama built around Hung. 
The hour-long shows were a surprise success and installed Hung as the only East Asian headlining a primetime network series. The television series was executive produced and occasionally directed by Stanley Tong and co-starred Arsenio Hall. Hung reportedly recited some of his English dialogue phonetically. Filmed during 2000-2001, Hung expressed interest in creating a film adaptation of the video game Soul Calibur. The production agreement for the film was made around April 2001 with an estimated budget of $50 million. Hung had the idea of producing a martial arts epic with Chen Long Jackie Chan in the lead role, but the film was never made. Hung's plans were detailed on his website, but after a year the announcement was removed. The film rights have since been acquired by Warren Zide, the producer of American Pie and Final Destination. Hung found renewed success in the Hong Kong film industry in the 2000s, beginning with The Legend of Sue, the long-awaited sequel to the 1983 hit Sue Warriors from the Magic Mountain. In 2004, Stephen Chow's Kung Fu Hustle was released. Though Yuan Wuping was credited for the martial arts choreography on Kung Fu Hustle, Hung actually did the preliminary work but left the film midway through, and Yuan filled in to complete it. Because of his departure from the film, there was tabloid speculation that he and Chow had strong differences over the film, resulting in their separation. Chow has since responded that Hung left for personal reasons and not because of speculated tensions. In 2004, Hung again worked with Jackie Chan, in a brief but notable appearance in Disney's Around the World in 80 Days as the legendary folk hero Wong Fei Hung, a character played by Chan in the Drunken Master series. In 2005, Hung was involved in Daniel Lee's Dragon Squad and Wilson Yip's SPL, Sha Po Lang. In the latter, Hung played a villain for the first time in over 25 years, and had his first ever fight scene against Donnie Yen. One of the key relationships in SPL had been Hung's role as the adoptive father of Wu Jing's character. However, these scenes were dropped from the final film as the director couldn't find a way to fit them into the film. In response to this, a prequel film was planned. Hung appeared alongside Wu Jing again in 2007's Twins Mission with Stars, The Twins. In early 2008, Hung starred in Fatal Move, in which he and Ken Lo played a pair of rival triad gang leaders. He also starred in, and performed action choreography for, Daniel Lee's Three Kingdoms, Resurrection of the Dragon, with Andy Lau and Maggie Q. The film, was based on the book Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Anthony Shadow's film, Wushu, which stars Hung premiered in Beijing in October 2008. The film was unveiled by Golden Network at the 2008 Cannes Film Festival. Jackie Chan was the film's executive producer, and worked on the film in an advisory capacity, assisting with marketing and casting. Hung then worked again with director Wilson Yip and star Donnie Yen, as the action director for the 2008 film Ip Man. In 2010, Hung was given a Lifetime Achievement Award at the New York Asian Film Festival, where four of his films were shown. Hung appears in and choreographed Ip Man 2. His role is that of a Hung Gar master who challenges Ip Man. In the same year, Hung appeared in the movie The Legend is Born, Ip Man 2. He acts as Chan Hua Shun, the martial arts teacher of Ip Man. The annual and highly anticipated Hong Kong International Film Festival was held for its 45th edition in April 2021. Hung is one of the six veteran Hong Kong filmmakers who directed renowned local director Johnny Decay Fung's highly anticipated anthology series, Septet, The Story of Hong Kong. The other filmmakers include Ringo Lam and Hwe An Hua, Patrick Tam Karming, Shui Hark, Yuan Wu Ping, and Johnny Tu. The short files were shot entirely on 35mm film, with each of them touches on a nostalgic and moving story set across different time periods, with every one acting as an ode to the city. Television in between films and special appearances, Hung has appeared in several East Asian television series. In 2003, he was in two mainland Chinese series Undercover Cop with Fan Bingbing, followed by The Valley of Lost Vengeance. More recently, he played a master con artist in the Taiwanese series Coming Lies and Wing Chun master Wang Hua Bo and Wing Chun, reprising the role he played in The Prodigal Son over 20 years earlier. He co-starred in the series alongside Yuan Biao, Nicholas C. and his youngest son, Sammy Hung. Hung appeared as a guest judge on the China-Beijing TV station reality television series The Disciple, which aired in mainland China and was produced by, and featured, Jackie Chan. The aim of the program was to find a new star, skilled in acting and martial arts, to become Chan's successor, the champion being awarded the lead role in a film. It concluded on June 7, 2008, with the series winner announced in Beijing. 
In another mainland Chinese television series, The Shaolin Warriors, set during the Ming Dynasty, Hung played Bigfoot, a Shaolin warrior monk joining General Chi He Guang's Marines to help defend the nation against Japanese pirates. Sammy Hung also has a role, as Bigfoot's disciple. Hung has starred in 75 films, and worked on over 230, beginning as a child actor while still attending the China Drama Academy. Upon leaving the opera school, he worked as an extra and stuntman, and progressed through other roles including fight choreographer, stunt coordinator, action director, actor, writer, producer and director. Most recently, Hung has starred in the historic action film God of War. In 1978 Sammo Hung formed Garbo Motion Picture Company, a subsidiary of Golden Harvest, with director Carl Maka and former actor-choreographer Lau Kar Wing. The company's name consists of the Gar sound from Lau Kar Wing and Carl Maka, and Bo from Hung Kambo. Dot. The company disbanded in 1980, when Maka moved on to form Cinema City and Films Company. With Raymond Wong and Dean Shek. Garbo released two films, both starring Hung and Lau. 1980 saw Raymond Chow pull one of Hung's films from local cinemas after just two weeks. Hung responded by starting his own production company, Boho Film Company Limited, allowing him to have greater control to produce Hong Kong films. While Boho produced, Golden Harvest still operated as distributors. In all, 40 films were released by Boho, several of which starred Hung. In 1983, Hung co founded another production company. DB Films Company Limited, with Dixon Poon and John Shum. The company operated until 1992 and produced a total of 77 Hong Kong films. In 1989, Hung formed a new production company, Bojan Films Company Limited. The company produced five films, all of which starred Hung, Hung Star, Handprints, and Autograph on the Avenue of Stars. Thanks for watching.